city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and I'm sure, as you all know by now, little TJ was shot during a robbery attempt in New Jersey. And unfortunately, as we speak, he is in stable condition. And I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's being said out here in these Gotham City streets. Now, first things first, they got him, guys. Lil TJ's alleged shooter has been arrested and charged with three counts of first-degree attempt of murder. Now, some would say this is good news. However, the two men who were protecting Lil TJ at the time were also arrested for second-degree on a lawful possession of a weapon. Now, this got a lot of people riled up, you know? Niggas was like, how are they gonna arrest the two people that possibly saved Lil TJ's life? Like, we can understand this illegal carry and this, that, and the third, but come on, they literally saved a man's life. And I could get where you coming from, but realistically, they don't care about that. I'm telling you, God forbid, but if Lil TJ would have died in that store, they would have still went in for that gun. I know niggas that got shot, and as soon as the doctor patched him up real quick and said, oh, he's good to go, cops come in, slap the cuffs on him. You got outstanding warrants. We going in right now. Nigga wounds still leaking and all, so believe me, the law is the law. They don't care about your situation. But not too long after this news came out, the mugshot of the alleged shooter surfaced on the internet. And here it is, guys. Yes. That's him. Allegedly. Now his name is Muhammad and he's 27 years old. And he's actually from New York City, guys. See, when this news first came out, everybody was like, yo, stop sleeping on Jersey. Niggas think Jersey is sweet, this, that, and the third. And believe me, believe me, I don't think anybody ever thought Jersey was sweet, my nigga. Them niggas is cowboys out there. It's the wild, wild west. Don't get it twisted. Philly and Jersey is giving it up stinky. Just because they don't got their own Swayze doesn't mean things ain't happening out there. But the fact that the alleged shooter is from New York City started to raise a few eyebrows. And this is where I would like to direct your attention to Bronx River's very own Hassan Campbell. Now, according to Hassan, he spoke to Lil TJ's mother, and apparently she claims that this whole thing was a setup. Got off the phone with Lil TJ's mother. Bottom line to it is, some of the information is wrong out there. Lil TJ was lined up. Now, when I first heard this news, I said to myself, wow, could this be possible? Was little TJ possibly set up by a Baba Bronx Trishi? By a Trishi Baba? And if you think about it, that could be possible. And if you think about the circumstances and the location where little TJ was shot at, the setup theory can be plausible. Because if you think about it, the place where the incident went down with little TJ is not really the bad part of Jersey. It ain't like the nigga was walking into a random McDonald's in Newark, Jersey City, or Plainfield. He was in Edgewater, and the nigga who shot him was from New York. So it's not that far-fetched that he was possibly set up. However, I'm not about to sit here and play online detective, all right? That's what the cops and niggas on Reddit do. But what I will say is this. No matter what you think really happened, no matter what type of conspiracy you can conjure up in your head, at the end of the day, I'm sure this is a wake-up call for little TJ, and he's going to be moving totally different from this day forward. Because the sad part is, even when you think you're safe, you're never really safe. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. <laughs>